One way that we can measure the pressure um, is to have a long column, all right, um, and close it off on one end, okay? And then we could uh, immerse this in some liquid. Uh, typically, we use mercury because it's heavy, um, and that uh, we fill that up with mercury so it's completely full and then we submerge it in a tray of mercury. So here we have some mercury in this little tray and all the way up this column has it has mercury in the column as well. Okay. Then you know you fill it up, you stand you stand up this uh, this column and then if it's tall enough right, and you'd have to have a tall enough column the weight of the mercury is going to pull down and it's actually going to create a vacuum okay a vacuum has um, no th you know, it means there's there's no matter in that space the, the mercury the weight of the mercury pulls it away so that uh, <coughs> that uh, it just leaves nothing behind or a vacuum. Okay, so what we have here, the particles of air um, are pushing down. You know, they exert a certain force on the mercury. Okay, and we can measure the force that they're putting based on the weight of mercury in this column okay so you have a column that mercury the weight of mercury uh, you know we have this uh, height okay that is you know our uh, height of mercury of that column of mercury and that will give us a weight that will exactly compensate for the um, pressure or the force exerted by the um, atmospheric uh, pressure, okay? The force exerted by the molecules of air pushing down um, <coughs> will uh, be exactly compensated by that um, mass of mercury in the column, okay? And so one unit of uh, measure for pressure um, you'll often see the weather reporting the pressure as inches of mercury. Okay, that's what they're referring to. It's that height of the column of mercury when they're measuring the atmospheric pressure. So you have atmospheric pressure pushing down here and you measure the height of mercury with that vacuum on top and that is the pressure measured in inches of mercury. In the metric system, we have a similar thing, millimeters of mercury, okay? And for very low uh, pressures, um, it's not common, you know, you wouldn't have atmospheric pressure, but if you had a very low pressure pushing down, it's not uncommon to have a column of water. Water doesn't weigh nearly as much as mercury, uh, has a much lower density, which means that same column in water would weigh much less. And so that would compensate for much less of, uh, of the force exerted by a low uh, pressure, you know. So uh, sometimes you'll say you'll have small pressures measured in terms of inches or millimeters of water, okay. But uh, most of the time we use mercury because we usually talk about um, pressures near uh, atmospheric pressure and millimeters of mercury gives us a uh, uh, more reasonable number to work with there. Um, in fact, it turns out we have units of uh, uh, millimeters of mercury. There are 760 millimeters of mercury for one atmosphere. So this is a conversion factor between atmospheres, which 
one atmosphere is just one uh, you know one times the pressure exerted by the atmosphere all right that's why it's called atmospheres and uh, there are exactly 760 millimeters of mercury that column is exactly 760 millimeters uh, to form one uh, atmosphere of, uh, of pressure okay so these are some common units this is a good uh, conversion factor to have memorized right? but we also talked about pounds per square inch right? you can see where that comes from the, the weight of that mercury column right? pounds and then you divide that by the surface area of the um, the column okay you usually have a narrow column and you could calculate the uh, area of that column you divide the weight on that area and that gives you the pressure in uh, psi okay pounds per square inch so different units the ones we use the most in this class 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to one atmosphere that will let you do those conversions another one that we use commonly is really the same as millimeters of mercury um, one millimeter of mercury is equal to one tor okay um, and uh, so both of these really are good conversion factors to remember and they will we will be using those often in this class